Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Motivation Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Bello, and today I'm going to talk about why I am going to see a therapist slash coach type person. And therapy is one of those things where it's like, never felt like I needed it. I remember when I was a kid, I think I was a little bit of a troublesome kid. I can't remember how old I was, maybe like 13, 14 or something in middle school. And my parents tried to take me to a counselor or psychiatrist or something for a couple of sessions just to talk through what was going on and like what the problem was and all that stuff. So um, yeah, I remember going to a therapist for a little bit or a psychiatrist or whatever the case was. And I was so upset. I didn't want to go. I thought it was a waste of time. I remember, or at least I think maybe this was a dream. I'm pretty sure this happened, but I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure I remember the gross, like old looking leather chairs in the office and just the desk. And I just, it just seemed like a place that I didn't want to be in. And I wasn't willing to open up there, obviously. And I was still very frustrated and angry. And I didn't, I don't know, I didn't want to be there. And I think we only went like two or three times. And luckily things turned out okay. And I didn't really need it. But yeah, therapy is one of those things where I felt like I never, I never really need it. And I'm okay. And I know how to handle my problems. And I'm not a little whiny baby, those things, right? I'm a manly man. I go to the gym. I solve my problems logically. And it's been like that for the full 29 years of my life. And lately, I've mentioned on a few episodes that I've been looking for something like a coach or a mentor or something like that. I've got a lot of people that I consider mentors in my life. I don't really have like a coach or a life coach or anything like that. A few friends of mine have hired life coaches. They've hired people like that to help them break through barriers, to think bigger, to stop having limiting beliefs and all of that stuff. And so that's why I started to kind of seek something like that myself. And it dawned on me that one of the real estate companies I worked with, one of the owners of that company, his wife actually owns her own practice here in Houston. They've got a couple of locations and I like, you know, I like her. She's real nice. And I remember the, I'd like to have her on the show, possibly her, maybe even the therapist that I'm ending up meeting with this coming week. And just to give them a little plug here in Houston, they're called Modern Therapy. And what really stood out to me just with the name and the vibe is that they want to have therapy for the modern person. Like it's modernized. It's not that old school feel of the gross old leathery chairs where I felt like I, would, I didn't belong there, right? So at least that's what attracted me to them. And I haven't even had a session or anything yet. So whether or not I will like it or find it valuable, I will let you know. And she did tell me that the person that I am meeting with this week is like awesome for high performers and achievers. And it leans more towards the coaching side because I was telling her, hey, I feel like I'm super driven. I'm on top of it. I'm hungry. I'm not really complaining about stuff. It's not like I'm unhappy. And I'm trying to pull up our messages here on Instagram because I kind of messaged her as I was listening to a podcast and a shout out to the Empire Show, Craig Ballantyne and Bedros Cooley. And I'd love to have them on the show too. I'd love to have all these people on the show. But I was listening to their podcast and I think Craig Ballantyne mentioned that, hey, you know, it's okay to get a therapist and that they regularly talk to therapists and stuff as entrepreneurs just so they can talk through things, solve problems together, break through barriers. And so that kind of is what broke down that stigma for me because I'm like, wow, if I love these guys' content and they're so knowledgeable and they're successful and they're going to therapists, like, then I should do that. Why would I not try to mimic success and do what it is that they're doing and maybe have those breakthroughs for myself? And so as I was throwing the ball at the park nearby with my dog or for my dog, throwing the ball for her listening to that podcast they mentioned it and literally right there i messaged her and i said hey i hope you guys are doing well i've heard on a couple podcasts some entrepreneurs i follow go to therapists regularly so it had me thinking about going to one do you guys just do like traumatic stuff or like life coaching stuff or everything and this is what she said hey chris hope you're doing well too it just warms my heart when i hear people talking about therapy it's the best we specialize in high functioning professionals and do therapy and coaching. So the short answer is yes and yes. We all have a story. So our area of focus is helping professionals who are on the, I don't need a therapist, but I want to learn more about myself, understand my story and any injuries better that might be getting in my way 
and take things as far as I can in my life. If you're interested in a good coaching lean, I definitely recommend Holly. I'd have to connect you directly or you'd need to go through a submission form. I think her online calendar is booked up. And then I replied, hey, it's been a while and totally, I haven't really heard it before until this particular entrepreneur. It's one of those things I feel like I never really needed, but lately I've been thinking more and more about getting a life coach or something just to help me break through self-doubt and whatnot. And then I said, ooh, that quote speaks to me because she put part of that in quotations. And then I asked about her person, Holly, hey, does she have a set amount of clients or is she just booked in the foreseeable future? I did see good reviews about her on the Google Maps page. And then she was like, yeah, she's great. The only thing I'd say is she's a good match, but maybe not necessarily the best compliment in that y'all are both very heady and she knows and reads just about everything. She's like a whole library of personal self-development. The other person that comes to mind is Dr. Bingman, as I imagine a compliment. He's so relatable and his specialty is on the depth side. So what he'd do is get into your subconscious defense mechanisms, into the depth of your story, and help you move through some of the deeper stuff you can't see that might be getting in your way. Working with analytical people is so powerful in a different way. You can always book a consult with whoever. Everyone has a certain amount of folks that they see at one time. So if you're interested, see Holly, for example. Y'all could coordinate something in the near future or do a wait list in hopes that it wouldn't be longer than a few weeks for something to come open. I definitely think you'd love Holly and you'd speak the same language for sure. Her folks adore her, yada, yada. And I was like, yeah, we might butt heads, but in a good way, because I also feel like I know and read a ton, but I feel like I'm also pretty coachable. And then I said, yeah, that's cool. I would love to dig into my subconscious as well. I don't remember anything from childhood, like anything before second grade for some reason. Would it be cool to, it would be cool to try to dig into that and unlock any helpful insights somehow. Thanks so much for the info. Really excited to try this out. And she sent me the link and I said, bam, okay, I'm going to sign up. Long story short, I signed up and my first session is this Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to it. And When I asked one of the ladies who reached out to set up the appointment, like, how often do people meet? Is it once a month? What's recommended? And she told me that typically people start off going once a week for a few weeks. And it's kind of a, I mean, I I talked about this on the last episode, I think, or one or two episodes ago. It's, it seems a little pricey, right? It's like 250 bucks an hour or something like that. But at the same time, value, right? That is a relatively low investment if I'm able to learn more about myself and break through barriers that I've been setting for myself. I still hold back sometimes. I have the limiting beliefs. I play small. I've heard Eric Thomas talking about how crocodiles are hungry or alligators. I don't know if if they're similar, but they're hungry and watching one get its meal is crazy because it fights for it. But after it eats, it goes into like a paralyzed state. And I don't know if this is true or not, or what what the numbers are. I don't watch, I haven't watched that episode of the National Geographic or whatever. But what he says in this motivational clip is that the crocodile goes into this like paralyzed state because it's satisfied and it's digesting the food. And you could basically kill a crocodile with your bare hands when it's in that state because it's just so satisfied that it's not moving. And sometimes I feel like I'm at that level where I'm like kind of satisfied with where I'm at and playing at that level and going to that next level is a little bit intimidating. And I, so I hold myself back a little bit, like, why would I want to stretch myself when really I need to jump head first into that thing and like go into that next level full speed. So that is my thinking for getting a therapist slash coach. And again, I say coach because the therapist part has that little word like it makes me feel like something's wrong with me. And of course, she made it sound like, hey, that's not the case at all. And I want to look on their website too. I just really love how they have it spelled out here and how the sales letter is really telling you that it's for people who deal with life, right? So here it says, okay, Modern Therapy is Houston's premier psychology practice for the high-functioning professional dealing with life. I associate with that. I'm like, high-functioning? Got it. Dealing with life, okay, cool. And here it says, okay, they work with the professional. They see Houston's trader, attorney, writer, engineer, physician, executive, CEO, working parent, dreamer in general. I don't want to settle in lifer. They put immense value in living in quality human existence. After all, this is the kind of this is kind of the only life we have. 
Our focus is helping people gain unique support to break through blind spots and old patterns that bind them. Hello, this is what I'm looking for, people. Then they go on to say, we help people release themselves from barriers they aren't aware of that impact their emotional lives in the realms of personal life, relationships, and career so they can live at their fullest capacity. Book here button. Okay, I'm clicking that thing. And then let's see, what else does it say? It, okay, request a session or book online. And let me see, self-empower, services, coaching. Yeah, so they've got couples therapy, coaching. Coaching's kind of more of that lean that I'm going to. Here it says, it's a great fit for people who are in a place where they're actively seeking to build rather than heal. And they want to sharpen clarity and concentrate focus through goal setting, exploration, and accountability so they can most effectively cultivate their life vision. So that spoke to me because I'm... I see myself as a high performer, go, 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 never slow down, like no excuses, stop whining, just do the work type of person. And a lot of who I listen to, a lot of the motivational people, they scream that and they preach that. And I'm still all about that. I love that. But at the same time, there's that part of me that feels like not satisfied or maybe like something's missing or like I'm trying to crack the code. And I heard it said on one podcast, it really opened my eyes for me. You might spend your whole life or you might spend a long time of your life trying to climb this mountain only to realize when you get to the top of that mountain, there's another mountain that's even higher, that's further away that you didn't see from the first mountain. So we're climbing these mountains only to find out that there's more mountains. So the goal is that you never reach the peak and you continue to grow as you go. And if you ever peak and, and then you, you peak like in the middle of your life, then like what's the point of going on through the rest of your life? You need to always work to get better. And Christian Guzman, if, if those of you who have um, seen like Alpha Elite, he's from Houston. He's built a huge channel on YouTube, huge brand, huge company. Um, and I have a lot, you know, some of his clothes and stuff. My brother's worked out at his gym and whatnot. And he has a quote on this gym that says proud, but never satisfied. And I love that because Yes, you can be proud of what you've accomplished, but you need to have more of a hunger, that inner hunger to get more, to do more, to give more, not just to have more, but like to be more. And if it's hard to generate, right? It's like, you don't want to be that crocodile. Once you achieve a certain level of success, you coast. Even a top producing broker, a top producing real estate agent on a mastermind book club that I did on Friday, he was admitting to us that during this quarantine, he was saying to all the people on the call, he's like, hey guys, I'm not going to lie. I have not been doing my lead generating that much. I've been coasting. I could be growing my business 30% right now, but I've been, he's been so satisfied with the amount of leads just coming in naturally from his network and referrals and stuff. He said, honestly, he doesn't even have the capacity to handle all the leads he's been getting. And so he's been passing me a few to like lease leads that he doesn't want to show houses to or, or deal with at, at the moment. And he admitted, I thought it was so powerful. He's, he was comfortable. He's got his business is at a good spot. He's making a good amount of money. He's staying consistent and he knows there's room for growth. He just has to generate that hunger inside. And I think that's why he mentioned to me before, that's why he likes to surround himself with people like me, younger people that are new, they're hungry, they're driven. Like we don't have that yet. We're not at that level yet. And so I'm fighting tooth and nail to get to that level, to get more listings, to go on more appointments. I'm showing houses as soon as I wake up and people want to go see houses later this evening. I'll make it, I'll drop everything and I'll go do that because those are the money making lead generating or revenue generating activities for me versus someone who's more satisfied and they're not as hungry anymore. They may be more leaning towards the, oh, let me just send this lead somewhere else. I'll get back to them tomorrow. It's not quite as urgent because they've got other priorities in life right now. So that is why I signed up for therapy slash coaching. I will let you know how that first session goes. I'm, I'm going to have that on Wednesday, I believe. So let's see. Yeah, it's going to be on Wednesday around lunchtime. Zoom call, not in person yet. A lot of people are still doing video calls. And yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be cool. I'm going to try to do once a month or twice a month, possibly. I'm still trying to balance, you know, the, the investment versus the expense thing right now. I'm still at that variable income phase where it's not consistent and I have good months and then I pay down some bills and then I have slow months and I'm like, let me put some stuff back on the credit card type thing. You know, it's, it's at that level right now where I'm just 
trying to manage everything. But at the same time, I've gotten so many listings and business coming in lately that at this rate, if I just stay consistent and follow up with everything, I'm pretty confident that within one or two months, I'm going to be having two or three deals closing a month consistently. I have six, five houses for sale right now, listings, one's pending, and I'm about to put one or two more up here on Monday for sale. And then I've got a package of seven that we're running comps on and numbers on that we were planning to put up here for sale as well. And then it's just a matter of time until the offers hopefully flood in and you know, back and forth, negotiating, going through the inspection period, all that stuff, right? So I'm still performing at the highest level I've ever performed at. And I know this is nothing compared to my potential. I just need a breakthrough. I need to believe. I need to close some of these deals and convince myself, oh yeah, Chris, you are the man. You are a beast. I'm telling myself these affirmations daily. Like, Chris, you are a multi-million dollar real estate agent. People want to work with you. People line up to work with you. You can choose which clients you actually want to work with. I, I say these things to myself every day in the morning, especially if I'm home alone, just walking around the house, kind of getting hyped up, getting the blood circulating and getting motivated for the day. And so I hope everyone's doing well. I will let you know how this session goes. Let me know, shoot me a DM or something. Have you ever been to a therapist? How was it? Did it help you? Have you been thinking about it? If you end up going because I went and I convinced you to go, let me know what you thought because I'd really love to see. I love to see what I'm able to share my message and my truth and other people are impacted positively and take action based on my recommendations. So with that being said, talk to you all soon. Take care. All the best. Catch you on the next episode of the Entrepreneur Motivation Podcast. Peace.